Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to Tsukiji Markets. This is the outer market here in central Tokyo. We are going to be going to a very unique vending machine today that I found uh, that's been causing a little buzz on the internet. How you doing? Um, it's inside at a, at a, a restaurant called uh, Hokai Banya. It's brand new. I'm gonna, go buy my, I'm gonna be buying my dinner there. Uh, and if you're watching this in the playback, I will put a chapter list so you can just skip to the vending machine if you're watching it in playback. If you're watching it live, you're gonna have to suffer with me as I walk for about five minutes to get there from, well, this is the Skiji uh, station, just about 150 meters that way. You can see the Metro sign on the right side. Let's get going. Now, since the state of emergency ended last week, Skiji Market has opened up too, the outer market. Now, the fish vending, the fish auction, the, the uh, tuna auction is no longer here, but they still have some of the best sushi restaurants in Japan right here at Skiji's outer market. So we're gonna walk around the corner here. Boy, that cop car looks like it can chase down some Ferraris. All right, let's take a right here. Straight into the market. Whoa, it was just a few weeks ago that uh, Eric Surf Six and I were eating a stick of strawberries. Oh no, it was a, a strawberry, a strawberry um, daifuku, which looked pretty incredible right there. Maybe we'll get that for dessert. Here's the Sushi Zanmai Honten, or head shop. Kia ora to Jonathan D, how you doing? Nice to see everybody joining us. Uh, we're still very much in the pandemic here as the Olympics is just less than three weeks away. The CEO of Sushi Zanmai has his own mask. How cool is that? So typically the outer market starts to shut down around this time. Whoa. This market has changed quite a bit to serve people looking for a bite on foot. It used to be more of a wholesaler, like where you can get things, uh, buy things for, from refrigerators here, but now it's, it's moving more to cooking stuff and catching people that are visiting Tsukiji. Whoa, check out that. That's, they even have knives right there. Wow, that's so cool. I gotta come back and, and uh, see if they'll let me film. I'm gonna ask permission. Hey, let's get a let's get a drink before I go to the other vending machine. Again, sushi chefs probably have the best knives. They probably have the best knives, um, <laughs> and they know how to use them. They're trained in them. All right, check this out. Let's get some let's get some drinks as as the rest of uh, everybody watching getting the notifications now. We'll pick something to drink from this vending machine here. Hey, look, they got. Um, the Ice Cafe Au Lait from Georgia, which is the Coca-Cola vending machine. Pretty interesting. Let's see here, I think I saw lemonade in one of them. That got me, that got me pretty excited. We have the Bickle here, Bickle Soda. We have a couple of viewers that really love Bickle. I don't see the, the uh, lemonade. Oh, there it is, right there. Boom. Lemonade, that cool, refreshing drink. From Eddie Murphy. All right, five hundred yen, five dollars. It's pretty cool. Japan has a, a coin worth five bucks. All right, get your coinage. Get your drink. Lemonade. Ooh. Three percent fruit juice. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good <laughs> when it says three percent fruit juice. Alright, we're off of the main street now. Let's go back into uh Hokai Banya, which is where where it is. Don't worry, I have a spray bottle of alcohol. I'm not gonna be drinking it, I'll be spraying it on my hands uh 
to be safe. I know a lot of you worry about me, and I appreciate that. I appreciate that very much. So for those joining us right here, Jennifer French, that's going to be going towards dinner. You got it. Oh, check this out. I love these older buildings. This one looks like it's, wow, you can see with the copper, the copper alloy plating. This is very famous in this neighborhood. That green color. Um, after the great Kanto earthquake, 1923, I believe. It wasn't the earthquake that destroyed a lot of things. It was the fires, the subsequent fires. And a lot of the buildings started to copper plate it like this to try to save the buildings from fire. And, uh, you, know, you know, now it's very expensive to do and they don't do that anymore. But you can still see it a lot in this neighborhood because most of the buildings are still in their original form. But I don't know for how long. Oh wow, they're starting to sell like onigiri and uh, all sorts of things really cheap right now because they're closing up. Again, Tsukiji Outer Market, fish markets, they open early, they close early. So you see some really good kaisen don. You'll see some of these scooters. Look at that doggy! Eh? He's a fish dog. <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> uh, he's a working dog. Shigoto <laughs> chune. Ah, here he comes. <laughs> so, he's on the job. Oh, here's that alley. I came here with Eric before, but at that time, later at night, everything was closed. You can see. Um, it's about 2, 2 p.m. here, and, and everything is still kind of open. But we're not going in any restaurants. We're buying from vending machine. That's right. Okay, I think it was the next street over. Well, the good thing is that you get a little bit of a tour of Tsukiji Market while things are still open. I'd say around two, between two and three, this place turns into a ghost town. Hey, watch yourself. Stay out of the middle of the road. I've seen, been trying to help you folks. Walk in a straight line. Police are gonna question your sobriety. Oh, this, I might have to just stop here for dinner. Tamagoyaki goes good, doesn't it? With uh, dinner. Whoa! Check this out. They got like burgers in here too. Egg burgers. That's crazy. That looks actually really good. Let's see. Maybe I'll come back. <laughs> and uh, I filmed here before. They have tamagoyaki, which is really good. So let's go to the vending machine right now. It is really cheap. This place is, um, it's one of my favorite, it's not that far away from where I live actually. So it's easy just to jump on my bicycle and come here about, about five, 10 minutes for me. Um, but you have to come at the right time. In the morning is the best time. It's, this is uh, Monday, so it's not quite, not quite the same. There's a takoyaki shop over there. I bet you the octopus is pretty fresh coming from Tsukiji's Outer Market. All right, the vending machine is here. Let's get, let's get moving. And I believe according to the internet that I'll be able to even get a bag with ice to make sure that it stays fresh. I love these little huts that serve kaisen don. Kaisen don is this. It's a bowl of seafood. Uh, and you would put soy sauce in a little dish with wasabi, mix it up, and then dribble the wasabi and soy sauce on top of that. And there's rice underneath it, and oh my word, it's so good. And it comes with some uh, miso soup. Seriously. The Skiji, mar Skiji Market might not be here, the inner market where the auction is and they sell the fish, but the culture of food? Wow. Oh, it's starting to rain. You're seeing a lot of changes in the city of Tokyo, some new restaurants coming about here. Uh, I think Eric and I were looking at that before as our possible office <laughs> idea. 
A lot of construction. There's the vending machine right there. But check out this. Above it is a residence. A very like semi kind of a narrow apartment complex. And below it is this like five star looking restaurant. Wow. And there's the chef looking at us right there on the other side. Pretty nice. Got some bamboo sprouting right there in a little waiting area. And you can see the shops have already closed. Here's, here's the banya, uh, the Hokai banya shop right here. And they're closed, but the vending machine is open 24 seven. Oh, the rain is really starting to come down. I might be trapped here. So this vending machine here, uh, you can tag, if you, whatever you buy here, you can actually tag it on their Instagram. They don't, they're so smart. They're so smart. So what do they got here? 250 grams of Ikura is gonna set me back about $35. Wow. Um, but it looks really like really good stuff. So I might buy that. I don't know, what do you guys think? This one here, you can get three slices of, of uh, fish, salmon and, and a white fish set here. Um, and you can actually cook this in a microwave to heat it up, because they come in some packages here. Check that out. Very cool. Um, they also have some, um, some fish roe. Shirako, oh, not shirako, uh, a mentaiko, right. This is kind of spicy mentaiko. I'm not a big fan of this. I won't be buying it, but this is about $10. These are so good in onigiri. They're kind of showing you the way to eat it. You can put that mentaiko inside of the onigiri and, and um, it's so good. They're spicy, little teeny eggs that have a, a kind of a crunchy consistency to it. This pack is, is the same as the one above, but they also have, oh, here it is, right. You can get a bag with ice and it costs you 200 yen or about $2. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, here is a salmon uh, salmon uh, set. Oh, that's very cool. And then you can get three, three cuts for 880 yen. Very nice. Wow, what should I get for dinner? So, I can't, I can't actually um, cook this or eat this here. The bag of ice, Carlos, is so that it can stay cool because it's supposed to be refrigerated but it's summer, right? It's, uh, no, it's uh, July, so it's almost about 30 degrees. But if, you, if you're gonna be walking around for about 15 more minutes, you're probably gonna wanna have some ice to keep it cool. And Carlos writes in, ah, ah, that's right. All right, let's get something to, to eat for dinner tonight. I'm gonna make my own. I, I guess I, I have to make you this promise as I take a look at this vending machine here. So I have every intention tonight to do a midnight snack at home and I'm going to make my own kaisen don from vending machine stuff. So tonight around midnight, which is in the morning in the US, um, I'll be preparing this in, in a bowl over rice and see if I can make my own kaisen don. I can't actually do anything here, but it'll be fun to, to share a midnight snack with you um, of ikura don with fish. All right, let's do this here. Um, all right, I, I guess I'm just gonna go first with the bag. I have to buy the bag because I need a bag. So I, I guess I didn't need the lemonade. I wasn't gonna drink it. I'll stay up just to watch John eat. Emily, thank you. <laughs> I'll stay up to eat it, how about that? All right, number nine is for 200 yen. So let's get a bag here. Oh, look at that. You put it in the cart? What? This is like, like ordering Amazon. Or they have English too. What? So you can change it from Japanese to English. All right, I'm gonna add to the cart. So 200 yen. Um, so I, I, I wanna keep shopping, how do I? Oh, you can only purchase one at a time. All right, let's buy the... Do you think Carlos has sponsored a bag of ice? Thank you, my friend. Um, there you go, buy.
Wow. Oh, it's so cold. What? All right, so I, I just bought a bag. Hold on a second. I have to get it. <laughs> I have to get a tripod. This is my shopping bag. All right, let me put the tripod on. And then I can we can unbox the bag. There's a bag inside the box. <laughs> Come on, is this not awesome? Alright. I hold on, sorry, the orientation was off. Alright, I'm unboxing a bag. This is for real. I'm unboxing a bag. Oh, Carlos, this is no ordinary bag. This is one of these stay cool bags. How cool is that? And there's a there's some ice in here, which I can use. I'm unboxing a bag. There's some ice in here, and then there's a. Uh... Oh, wh oh wow! So I can put what I buy inside of here with the ice. And then there's a plastic bag that I can use to put it in. I thought it was just gonna be a plastic bag. How cool is that? All right, so. We're getting ready to do some shopping and I got a box out of it too. I guess that has value to somebody. And I have this drink, when I'm, I'm not gonna drink right now and I'll put that in there. That'll keep the, that'll keep the fish cool. All right, next up, as the shops around me start to close shop for, for the day, it's two, just a little bit after two, let's get some Ikuda. Now this is $35 for this here. So I'm gonna order the number, number two because number one is, uh, it sounds very presumptuous, some number two. I'm putting in $35 into this machine. Feels weird. I'm gonna eat it tonight at midnight, Ian. Another live stream on John's homemade Kaisendon. And here's 500 yen. Oh. Oh, man. It's nasty. All right. Two. Change to English for, for all of you. Um, press the buy button. Buy. Whoa, it's frozen. It's pretty cold. Oh, dozo, dozo. Oh, it's pretty cold, check it out. $35 for that. Uh, Ikura, on the back, it says it's good until next year. Whoa, okay, we're not done. Um, it's in Russian because they probably export it too. So I put I put the ikura in the in the uh, ice bag. I'll show you it all when I'm when I'm done shopping. So I've got some more to buy. Next we need to get some fish. Oh wow, he's showing us on the inside. So next up, we're gonna buy the um, salmon, but I just have to wait for a moment. So let's just go across the street here. Just wait for him to do his job. Wait for him to do his job. So I have to buy one more thing from the vending machine there. It's starting to rain. 
We could try that lemonade. Who's confused? Sierra is confused. That vending machine right there sells fish and ikura, and I'm buying it right now to make a kaisen don for tonight. And I thought I would share it with you the vending machine so that you know where it came from. So tonight at midnight, when I eat my midnight snack, right, the vending machine's still open. I'm, I'm waiting for, for him to close the machine. I can't finish my shopping. All right, he's getting the machine though, okay. I guess he's taking out the cash. Checking the temperature. But it looks like just a big freezer on the inside. The rain's starting to come down a little bit more. Buy Ikuda at grocery store, make your own Kaisen Dong. I could do that, but it's way more fun to do it from a vending machine. Come on. Imagination, imagination. And we're waiting now for him to close the vending machine. I was in mid-shopping. Hey there from Mount Holly. Used to live down there in South Jersey too. They don't have any sea urchin, which is a shame. Um, I just got this from the vending machine. Check it out. It is a... Uh, a $35 box of Ikura. And it looks like it's pretty good stuff. It comes from Japan, I assume. From Hokkaido, yeah. It comes from Hokkaido, and that's very important. And I have to keep it at, at 0, 018 degrees Celsius, which is not gonna happen. So I gotta get back home real, real fast. All right, let's go do this. PMW 19, 1971, get some lush salmon cuts. You got it. Sponsor in the salmon. Maybe he's buying dinner too. I guess he's testing it out. I hit the bay line. So let's go for this one here. We want to get the. Uh... Buying a Kaisen Don. <laughs> uh, he's, he's smiling at me. So here's, here's what I got next here. This is uh, actually amakuchi, so it's kind of a sweet, t sweet flavored salmon. Uh, 100 grams each. So I got two cuts in, in there. Some, uh, some of those ba baby fish that I like. So this is going to be great on top of there, but I think I have to cook this first before I put it on there, make my own shake or something. That's all good. Kaisen don doesn't have to be completely raw. But very cool. And I have the ice and the bag to put it in. The bag, you can get the bag from the vending machine too. 200 yen for that. I don't know if that's from Russia or not. All right, so that's, there, there you go. And uh, I'm gonna, I, I'm not gonna get any of the fish, fish roll in it. And this one, maybe I'll see how it goes and then maybe I'll come back here and get that for dinner. But. Yeah, I think that that's a pretty good combination. I think we got a pretty good, maybe you'll buy some other stuff at the at the um, egg shop on the other side now. But a kaisen don is, a kaisen don is where a lot of seafood is on top of a, a bed of rice. I'm kind of happy we got a chance to see inside of the uh, vending machine. So there's a shop over there where we can get some tamagoyaki. 
there's a, sh there's a shop on the other side where we can get some tamagoyaki, which is also nice on top of a kaisen don, as you can see here. Uh, do you rinse the ikura before you eat it? I think so. Maybe not. I think you gotta thaw it out though first. But you can see there's some, there's some um, egg sometimes on it too. So we'll go see if we can find that for our kaisen don for tonight. And Bob Joe, extra beer funds. I will also have a, a beer for tonight too. Thank you, Bob Joe. I'll see what else I can find uh, around town. Even check it out. Even this um, vending, this uh, takoyaki vendor, has a vending machine to buy takoyaki. So you, you buy, you pay there, and you get a ticket. Give it to him, and he gives you the takoyaki. I gotta come back here for a street food episode. I parked my bike on the other side. Let's see if they still have the uh, tamagoyaki shop in. Oh, they're just starting to close up. They're both pretty famous shops here. They got some tamagoyaki here. Maybe we'll buy it from here. Let's see. Ah, uh, negi iri tamagoyaki. Ah, uh, ma negi iri tamagoyaki. Gajimas. Hi. Ah, hi. Gajimas. Katsubaga. Wow. That's a tamago. Is it tamago katsubaga? This guy. Oh, this is one. Oh, this is one. Oh, this is one. Hammer. Smoke salmon. Ah, smoke salmon. So, for a no, eh, ham to cheese. Oh, ja. Chicken, I guess. Hi. Ah, where is it? Hi. ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。はい。Look how good that look, that tamagoyaki looks so good. I'm really excited about this uh, oyaku, this uh, kaisen don we're making. So the rain is starting to come down pretty hard. I'm gonna go take this over to my bicycle and we're gonna we're gonna crack open that burger and see. It's a tamagoyaki tamagoyaki with chicken burger. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's let's walk down and put this stuff in my bike and I'll be able to eat this burger with you. I got some lemonade too. A cool refreshing drink. Hey, Jenny and Carl. Hey, enjoy your midnight snacks. Thank you. It'll be pretty late in Australia when I start that, but oh, let's check that out. This is a Kaisen Don for everybody who is wondering. The price is, this one's about $30, $27. About 100 yen equals about a dollar about, uh, but this would be, wow. That's what I'm gonna try to make tonight. Something that looks similar to that. But I'm, I bought everything from this vending machine here. Gosh, 
the rain's coming down hard now. Luckily, the human body is waterproof, so I'll be just fine. Look at the guy standing in the middle of the road with deals on Kaisendon. He says he's got some Kaisendon deals. The rain. All right, we're, we're in the clear. The rain is starting to really come down. My shirts. Look at that. Go the distance for the live stream. That's what we do. Right, where did I park my bike? Ah, okay, right here. I have a rain jacket in my bag, but my hands are full. One with the camera, the other one is with bags of ikura and other goodies. Now at Skiji Market, the fishermen don't want to eat fish. So you see lots of gyutam places like this. Bowls of, of rice and meat. Everything except for fish, although that's unagi. Unagi don looks good. The first Yoshinoya, which is a um, gyutan restaurant. Not gyutan, sorry. Um, gyudon. The first gyudon restaurant in, in j j the first Yoshinoya gyudon restaurant was in Skiji Market, the place where they sell fish, because fishermen wanted beef. They didn't want any, they didn't want to see any more fish. Who can blame them? This is the Skiji. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants inside of here. It makes it pretty easy, and I believe actually, why don't we? Maybe we can go up there and eat it up here, huh? Let's go take a look. Third floor is something. Let's go see. Thanks everybody for joining me on this uh, live stream in Skiji here in Tokyo. We're live. See, the weather is not ideal. We've had a, a lot of rain over the last week, especially in the beginning of July. And uh, for those of you who saw the uh, awful mudslides, the landslides in Atami, just a couple of days ago. They're starting to dig it out. Um, a, a lot, I think they said about 20 people are, are missing, but I, the mud is so thick in that town. I, it's gonna be really hard to try to rescue anybody. Perfect. So my heart really goes out to those people that are um, in, uh, in Atami. I hope, that, I hope that everybody's okay. All right, we're gonna eat it out here in the rain. I'm cool. Cool. I think social distancing is pretty cool to do here. All right, let's break this all down, folks. Ah. The weird thing with traveling with these ducks is that they squeak all the time. All right, let's see what we got here. I am very, very happy. The, the tamagoyaki guy there in the corner, I'm gonna go back because of this. He gave me um, six eggs to eat raw. These are super fresh. Yeah, wow. These are super fresh and he says I can eat these, eat these raw, which is great. Um, where are they from? Okay, I think they're local. Cool. So whenever you can get a, a, a six pack of really high quality eggs out of it, Right. And I got a burger. This is gonna be fun. If some people sing in the rain, I eat in the rain. With some lemonade. I, I, I think I've been up here once, like many years ago, but it's been a while. We got like picnic tables up here. So you can get some street food and then come up here to eat. How cool is that? Um, raw eggs in Japan are, are safe to eat. The, one of the reasons why is because in the U.S. they actually have some sort of chemical that they spray on the eggs that really um, thin out the shells. The end result of that is that a lot of bacteria and things can get in through that into the eggs and that's how salmonella um, is in the U.S. eggs. Japan doesn't do that. Japan doesn't have that spray chemical that, um, that uh, weakens the, the integrity of the shells. So the, 
the, the uh, eggs supplies a little bit better. Um, but I, I, maybe they use a different chemical. I'm not too sure about it, but that's one of the things that I researched when I was doing it. I was thinking about doing an episode on eggs. But raw eggs in Japan, again, they come pretty quick from the farm. So not a thing that's a problem here. This is a uh, Tsukiji Yakitamago grilled egg burger for four dollars. Wow. And there's chicken apparently. Oh, what is that? Some secret sauce, which is always Thousand Island. <laughs> Looks like Thousand Island. Must be Thousand Island. I like the size of this. It fits right in your hand. Yeah, they wash them in the U.S. Removes the bloom rights in bottom shot. Um, itadakimasu. Look at the grilled egg in there. That is awesome. Eichen's in the house. Hi, John. I'm glad that you're out and about. We used to separate the yolks uh, and add a tablespoon of sugar as a treat. That's a good idea. I know tamagoyaki has some sugar in it. Uh, on the top, I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of chicken on there. You see it? Chicken. so moist. This tamagoyaki is so moist. There's a little bit of crunch from the from it being um, battered and deep fried. Not very oily. And the chicken in there, I'm glad that I picked the chicken. I bet you the other ones are good too, but you can't go wrong with chicken. Mmm. That's like the um, the high C type of lemonade. You know, like high C had the powder lemonade, you remember, with sugar in it. That's what this is. It's not a quite, it's not quite real lemonade, but it's not too bad. Shout out to the shop too. Grand opening of a of a dessert shop across the street from there. They sell pudding, shoe cream, and milk. Basically things that would require eggs. So I love that about Japan. Um, this is the name of the shop and Tsukiji Shouro, S-H-O-U-R-O. It's open nine to six uh, every day, yeah sweets and desserts on the first floor. I'll go check it out. Um, <clears throat> I, I like that about the shops in Skiji. Probably family run for many generations. They focus on one thing and they do it really, really well. Like the shops uh, used to do back in the 1950s and 60s, maybe uh, you know, back in the olden days, our grandparents' time. Um, you know, milk, milk men would come and they would just deliver milk. There'd be the diaper people, because I got a, a kid who think, always think about diapers. There's like butchers, just meat. They do eggs, so they have egg desserts, egg sandwiches, tamagoyaki. They specialize in it, so it makes them the best at what they do, and they can sell quite a bit of it. <laughs> there is odd ambient sound, like both Volvozuelas. I don't know what that is. Could be the, the rain just uh, pitter pattering. So, 
which came first. If you hold the sandwich like it's supposed to, the chicken comes first. Your chicken is on top. So does that, does that answer your question? The egg didn't come first. The chicken did on this sandwich. Pretty funny. And slightly cruel. How dare they put the chicken with the egg? Just, I don't know. It's like an Oyakodon sandwich. Very happy. Very, very happy. The internet's going, that's sacrilege. There's a dish called Oyakodon. Oyakodon is, it means the, like the parents and the child. That's the translation and Oyak, Oyakodon. Oyakodo. And it's one of my favorites. It's a uh, egg with chicken on rice. That's what I, I really like, like it. Oyakodon. Ho meaning child. All right, I didn't expect it to, to leave with a, a six pack of eggs, but I take it. All right, so tonight it is raining. I'm going to be making uh, an, uh, a kaisen don with some of this, th with the ingredients here together uh, for midnight. And you're invited. Uh, the live stream will be, I don't know, somewhere between 11 and uh, 11 and 12 uh, in the morning in Japan time. And if you're a Patreon supporter, I'll share the link with you there. If you're uh, on Instagram, uh, check out the Instagram. And uh, I usually have a stories where you can see what's going on. It, I, it, it, it's only there for 24 hours. I usually put a link up there about 30, 20, 30 minutes before the live stream. Uh, so you can click the link and go straight into the live stream. Click through the YouTube app too, if you, if you could do that. Uh, Marcus, Mickey, welcome new traveler. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yeah, and uh, I, I am on Twitter too. I just started uh, to tweeting a lot more. I'm new to the tw Twitter world, but uh, it's a pretty useful tool to be able to communicate. Um, for people that use Twitter a lot. It, it should be more positive news. That's what you're gonna get if you do, if you follow only in Japan, the good stuff. Um, it's gonna be very useful during the Olympics. And hit that like button. Thank you, Mike. Mike Hayashi. All right, so from the vending machine, just to sum up, this is the bag. The bag cost me um, $2. The bag came in a box. So I, <laughs> I bought a box for $2 that came in a bag. Um, this is... Um, Frozen salmon with this that's sweet with um, I can't even remember the name of the small fish and I don't know why the salmon comes from Russia You're right about that salmon comes from Russia I, I'm pretty sure that salmon is not indigenous of Japan anyways And the Ikura is from Hokkaido. This is the bag that I got for $2 with some ice. This was $35. It came from Hokkaido. And uh, I'm gonna really enjoy eating this. I believe that there's goma. There's a little bit of sesame oil in this to give it some flavor. Should be good. Marcus is salivating. Close that up there. Thankfully, I live down the street, so it won't be, won't be, won't be out very long. And we have some tamagoyaki I got from the shop. Salmon was introduced by Norway, I think, quite possibly. And this is the tamagoyaki with negi in there. Um, I'm gonna cut this up and also put it on the oyakodon with some soy sauce tonight. Uh, it's gonna be pretty cool. It's easy to make your own, uh, not oyakodon, sorry, kaisen don. It's it's pretty easy to make your own kaisen don. You just gotta get raw fish and and goodies and put it on a bowl of rice. Take soy sauce and wasabi, mix it up and drizzle it on top. Boom, we can do that at midnight tonight. Have a great, have a great day, have a great night. Hit that thumbs up button um, and get ready for an evening kaisen don. Um, to, to, uh, tomorrow night, sorry, Wednesday and Thursday, I'm thinking about meeting up with some friends to do some collaborations on the Only in Japan Go channel. On Wednesday, uh, I'm planning to meet uh, my friend Eric, uh, Surf, Eric Surf Six. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm gonna meet him but we're, we're planning to make a um, episode for his channel because he's been so kind to help me out with mine. It's, uh, I wanna, I wanna um, help him out too. 
So uh, we might we might spend a few hours making an episode together at, at a, uh, somewhere in the city. <laughs> I don't want to tell you. And uh, that'll be for, for Eric's channel. And um, he's going to help me out and collaborate with me on, on, a, on an edited episode of Only in Japan. Um, just a little note. Um, like, I didn't put any videos up in June, and I apologize. Uh, edited videos because um, uh, although I wanted to edit, I had to give my time uh, to help out a, a family member who's, who's quite ill. And um, yeah, I, I, the, the more edited content will be coming up on the Only in Japan channel. And I'll make a note on the Only in Japan edited channel uh, in a story post uh, today just to let people know. Because I, I do want to have episodes up two times a month. I thought I was able to, I was able to do that, but uh, it just wasn't the time to do that. It, it kind of had to focus more on, on family. And it, it was a really, really challenging month of June. It was very challenging, and um, especially with, with uh, the baby. And um, we're getting through it okay. So th I want to say thank you to everybody who's been asking and, and making sure that we're doing fine. Um, I'm, I'm remembering to eat and drink water and do everything else too because I've been pretty busy shifting back and forth between so many things. But everything's going to be okay. I, I really, uh, really uh, appreciate it. Um, just, you know, mental illness is something that we all need to look out for. I'm fine, but uh, just make sure that everybody uh, is doing okay and I just keep that in mind. It's something that um, maybe we did, we took for granted maybe 20, 30 years ago, that, but these days we should uh, definitely um, be on the lookout for it, people that, that aren't doing so well and, and make sure uh, you recognize some signs. Um, so hugs all around. Thanks. I'll see you tonight at midnight. Uh, I will absolutely. Who wrote that? Yeah, Matt. It's no joke. Absolutely. You have to take it very seriously. And um, I'm glad that we, we were able to to get some help. It's just going to take a little take a little bit more time. There's no timeline on this, so just do your best. See you tonight, everybody. I'm pretty excited about our our dinner. Um, and then this week, lots of collaborations coming up on the Only in Japan Go live streaming channel. Appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. See you then. Enjoy the last 20 seconds looking at the rainy patio place that I'm at and a pretty much empty shop. Oh, they got ice cream.